polymerization. Poly means many. So a polymer is a long chain of repeated units. And these units are called monomers. And depending on what compound the monomer is, depends on what type of product you're making. So you've heard of many um, polymers. Polystyrene is made up of repeating styrene molecules. Uh, gums, adhesives, hoses, insulation, rayon, nylon, carpet fibers, pipes, Teflon, plexiglass. These are all ma man-made polymers. Uh, they also occur in nature. Cotton, cellulose, rubber, naturally occurring rubber, DNA, starch. These are all repeating units joined together. So the monomers can be the same unit or you can have two different monomers or different monomers in a polymer. But there's two ways to form them. There's addition polymers and there's condensation polymers. So which type depends on what structure you have in your monomer. So in addition polymers you have double bonds. And what happens is when these two units join together, they'll actually now have single bonds. And this unit can get repeating on and on and on. Um, Teflon, that nonstick coating on your frying pans. Teflon is poly tetra fluoro ethylene. Ethylene is another way to say ethene. It's a common name for ethene. So poly tetra fluoro ethylene. So each carbon is bonded to two fluorine, so there's four in total, and what happens is these join with other tetrafluoroethene molecules and you end up with a polymer that's got a carbon backbone and fluorine, fluorine atoms attached to it. Polystyrene is made of repeated units what is called styrene and what happens is you get repeating units that look like this. So condensation polymers, this is the other way to form polymers. 
And basically you have monomers with two functional groups. They have to have two because you have to be able to add on either side. And water molecules are released. So you could form ester linkages, you could form amide linkages, which you're going to end up releasing some water. Uh, clothing fibers like nylon or dacron are formed this way. Kevlar, Kevlar is another uh, condensation polymer. This is basically dacron and this is an instance where we have ester linkages. So this is the structure of Kevlar and here we have an amide bond but you can see here are the two repeating monomers. We have this monomer and we have this monomer and they alternate. 